In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these fun crop and split transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I've got a couple of example clips on the timeline. And in order to actually transition one to the other, we're going to want to use layers. So, if I want to transition this clip into this one, I'm just going to drag it over top and make sure there's some overlap, and this will be the transition area. Now, in order to begin this effect, we're going to go to the effects panel on the right hand side, and we're going to search for one called Crop. This is in the Transform Video Effects folder, and I can click and drag this onto the top clip that is going to be transitioned in. So the crop effect gives you some simple options a left, top right, and bottom crop percentage. So you can crop in left, top right, or bottom. And we're going to use keyframes so that we can just do this transition so that jump cuts to the clip. Now another one to keep in mind is also the linear white transition. This isn't the video effects transition folder. You can also use the linear wipe to get like a different sort of effect. In this case, you can get like angular crops if you wanted. So keep that in mind. The same kind of principle could apply with the linear wipe, but you with the crop effect, you can crop in from two sides at the same time, whereas a linear wipe, you'd have to stack those. But regardless if we want to make it come in from the left, let's start with the right crop 100% cropped and we're going to click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip 100% cropped. Now we're going to move over maybe a couple seconds, and let's say I want to do two crops. I'll now make a keyframe at 50%, then I'll move over a little bit more, and I'll make a keyframe at 0%. Now by default, these diamond keyframes are going to linearly interpolate, which just is a fancy way of saying they're just going to move gradually from one percentage to the next, so it kind of is blended. If we want it to be like the jump effect that we're looking for, we can change the type of these keyframes by highlighting them and right-clicking them, and we can change them from linear to hold. Now what will happen is it will hold at 100% until it hits that keyframe, then it'll automatically jump to 50. And then it hits the next keyframe, it'll automatically jump to zero. So when we play that back, we have this 50% transition, I want to make it a lot faster. So I'm going to squeeze those keyframes in, I can play it back, and let's see how that looks. So ideally, you want to sync this up to you know, the beat of the music or something like that. And you can play around with the speed of it so that it makes sense. But once you get the basic idea here, there's nothing stopping you from doing many different fun variations of this. So maybe instead of doing just to maybe, we can go 100, then we can go 75%, and then we can go 50%, and then 25, and then 0, so now we've done 1234, a cool little block transition. And you can play around with different variations. You can even do like the square block intros. So this is a fun one basically just mixing hold keyframes with different crop levels and layering the ends of the clips together to create all these different variations of split and crop effects. If you actually got more split screen and crop ideas, I have several tutorials on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.